if you ain't rich, you ain't moving to Atherton. This may not look like much from the road. We can't see inside these homes. But believe it or don't, where we are now is the wealthiest place in the country. Not only are the people who live here loaded, their homes are too. For the third straight year, Atherton, California is the most expensive zip code in the country. I had heard a lot about this little nook in the heart of Silicon Valley, and since I was nearby in San Jose, I thought I'd take this short 20 minute drive to check the place out. To be honest, from a glance, it feels like any other fancy neighborhood. But there's a lot going on here that makes Atherton a very exclusive place to live. As we'll see, the residents keep it this way on purpose. If you made a half million dollars a year, where would you live? Well, for most of us, that'll never happen. So the question's very rhetorical. Here in Atherton, that's just status quo. That means if you make 450000 a year, you're below average. Tech billionaires live here. The head of Google, the head of Facebook, and the founder of Microsoft have all called Atherton home. And you thought you felt pressure to keep up with your neighbors. My God. But all these people need to be close to where the action is. As you probably know, Silicon Valley has all the world's biggest tech companies. Homes here average close to $10 million each the day I drove through here, but by the time you watch this video, they'll probably be worth more than that. The rich keep getting richer. This is the first time in our nation's history that an entire city's population earns, on average, a half million bucks. And there's 7,000 people here. Driving around Atherton, there isn't a lot to see. A lot of people are on their walks. There are a lot of Teslas instead of Lamborghinis. You see a lot of contractors in front of homes, undoubtedly doing significant upgrades. You'll see a lot of food trucks in front of homes to feed the hordes of contractors that you see on every street. All those landscapers and marble layers gotta eat somewhere. This place was built in the 1950s so the San Francisco elites had a place to get out of the city. And it's been very exclusive ever since. It's all very elite. There's not a square inch in Atherton that's zoned for commercial use. There aren't any restaurants, bars, gas stations, coffee houses. Nope. You mean they don't have Wendy's here? Where do they get their four for fours? I don't think they'd want a Wendy's here, little mappy kid. It's probably the last thing they'd want here. But there's a dark side to this place. This isn't a gated community, but it might as well be. It's walled off metaphorically. Folks here intentionally keep it exclusive through laws and zoning. The liberal elites here won't allow for any new affordable housing plans, despite a huge housing crunch in the state. The only thing they'll let you build here are large homes on one acre lots. And it's a huge contradiction in what they say they believe in. You know, inclusiveness. Mark Andreessen is a rich venture capitalist who lives here. He just wrote a piece called It's Time to Build, where he talked about the lack of affordable housing for poor people. But he and his wife fought to keep average people from living here in Atherton. No way, not here. The city keeps saying over and over, we can't ruin the character of our town so poor people can move in. Even though we're surrounded by homeless people all over this part of the state, you won't find any homeless people in Atherton. I bet they'd run them out of here real fast. And get this. Here's how elite and entitled people in Atherton are. So in order to get around putting in affordable housing for poor people, Athertonites are trying to push through a loophole to add housing for disabled adults. Can you believe that? Like, okay, we have to put in affordable housing for the needy, but we don't want broke people here. 
Let's skirt that rule and put in housing for disabled adults instead. <laughs> Unbelievable. One resident justified this by saying, low and low income housing is gonna freak out a lot of people in this community because we all know what it brings with it, right? He also goes on to say, developmentally disabled people don't commit crimes, they don't bring drugs, they don't bring trouble, and they don't bring all the lunatic stuff that goes along with it. They also can't drive, he said. So you don't have a bunch of people with extra cars and God knows what. Jesus. And by the way, low income for Atherton is actually 87000 a year for a family of four. I'm sure you want to know about the crime, right? It's pretty safe here. Technically, it isn't safe safe. There's only about half as much crime here as there is in the rest of the state. There were two rapes and a couple of robberies and some assaults last year. Not a lot. There's only 7,000 people here, though. Most of the crime that happens here is white-collar crime. You know, tax fraud, college cheating scandals. Cops can't afford to live here. Teachers can't afford to live here. That sucks. I'm not picking on them, and I'm sure they're all great people. But it's a bubble here. A lot of people are probably out of touch with the day-to-day -day struggles of most Americans. If you look up the police blotter in Atherton, you see calls for stuff like suspicious pickup truck with lawnmower parked in front of our house, which most people would be like, that's a gardener. There are other somewhat amusing calls into the Atherton police. Somebody called the cops because their family was being followed by a duck. Oh my God. People report fruit being stolen from their trees or people ringing doorbells that they don't know. A report came in because a crossing guard wasn't directing traffic correctly. <laughs> a sus person with a tag on their jacket was spotted. Okay, you people need to get out more. How would you react if there was real crime in your hood? That's what I want to know. I'm surprised somebody didn't call the cops on me. Driving around, filming in the middle of the day. Oh my gosh, some handsome guy is filming my house. And in case you're wondering, private school in this area is more than 50k a year per kid. Again, you can't really see much driving around because it's all very private with the large bushes and walls and gates. You could drive through here and not even know you were in America's richest neighborhood. But remember, these homes are all on large lots that you can't see from public view. Some of these people are going to watch this and be like, Oh my God, you can see my house. I'd better get some bigger bushes and trees and walls. This house is worth $25 million. Not sure who lives here but I bet they did something important with technology. This house has its address blocked out on Google Maps. No idea why, but you can draw your own conclusion, I guess. Check this out. Here's all the homes filtered by the ones that have sold for more than 10 million bucks. Just wow. The real estate here, I tell ya. The cheapest home for sale in Atherton is this one, listed at 6.7 million. Just looks like a regular house you might see in your neighborhood, doesn't it? Here's what I found most interesting about the area, though. As I left Atherton to head back to San Jose, I turned a corner and it looks like this. Just a block from the richest place in the country. I thought this was odd. Technically, this is considered Menlo Park, but clearly this is not a rich, fancy part of the Silicon Valley. Just average people living their average lives. A stark contrast to the leafy, rich wonderland I had just come out of. As I sat at the light and looked around, it was definitely a melting pot. People sat in their Teslas, probably waiting to scurry through to get on with their important lives. I wondered, do the Atherton people look down upon this neighborhood? Is this the population they don't want to creep in? kind of felt bad thinking it, but I didn't blame them. Would I too build up high walls and gate myself off from the rest of the community if, if I could? I don't know. I doubt these folks will ever get to live the high life down the road in Atherton. I wonder if they even really care though. It's probably something they never really even imagined.
Are you looking to move and need advice? I do consulting. That's right. I'll sit down and talk about where the next perfect place for you and your family should be. I do it all the time. Together, let's find you a new home that's safe and checks all your boxes. And I can also help you find your new house too. Email me and I'll work with you. I'm not just helping you figure out where to move, but I can help you find your perfect home too. That's right. I know awesome, reliable agents all over the country, and I'd love to connect you to somebody who can help you search for that perfect home. Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great. You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more. This is Sage Nick's manager. This has been a Corner House Entertainment production.